Hi folks, welcome back to Mad Fred Studios. Budicky here. So we are on part six. <clears throat> and we had just come from Hogsmeade, defeated a troll. Uh, we are now back in the Ravenclaw common room. And we now have an owl post from Professor Fig. So let's jump right in and see what's going on down. All right. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm just curious. Oi, can you help me? Can't figure your wand out, can you? Oh. Over here. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Revelia. Oh, it's your headless Nick. Way cool. Thank you. 
last time I saw you, Dragon. Rebellion. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Hmm, huh. a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. And welcome back to the cache. I keep forgetting about the compass that can guide you wherever you need to go. Ah. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs. And, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Obviously. Rebellion. <laughs> Thank you. 
Revelio. I might go to the hidden caches. Again, I'll come back to that later. Glad you could make it. Oh, that'll come Lucan's in handy. just over there. Leviosa! <sighs> That's what you do with it. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. <laughs> and, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Uh, of course. Yeah. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. <laughs> Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I have to remember how to do this. We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Oh, good. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Let me open. 
Keep trying. Oh, I see. Okay. Accio. Repairer. Oh, no. Something. Let me see. Next time, perhaps. Accio. Luminous. I don't think I know that. Accio. You'll get it. That's enough practice for now. Already? But you haven't finished the training exercise. I shall finish up later. Very well. I'll be here when you're ready. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant! Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it! Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Well, that was fun.
Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Oh, I do need to. Okay. Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Let me open. Okay, I see. Got it. Okay, okay. Good one! Wait a minute to figure out. There we go. Let me open. Excellent form! Let me open. Almost had it. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignments all finished. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. Oh, get over it. Perhaps I should stick to potions. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Dude, it's dueling class. Get over it. Don't be such a pansy. Jesus. Whatever. If you can't run with the big duelists, don't do it at all. Yeesh. Again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your mole? I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you- I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, 
Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. <laughs> wow, that'll be fun. Oh, I see. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. The blaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? <laughs> Too much fun. Okay. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecat. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new one. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, 
I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Yes. Fig, I have work for you. Come. Oh. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him. You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Alrighty. See there? That's the door we need to reach. Oh, prefects. Ugh. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. like sneaking in the invisibility and potion in Skyrim. Ha! <laughs> okay, it should be fine. See? 
I shall pretend I cannot see you. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. the librarian would be gone by now I said usually but it'll still be all right do you see her desk behind me the key is in the drawer of that desk now here's what we're going to do I'll create a distraction to draw her away you focus on getting the key I'll meet you outside of the restricted section you distract I get the key understood I said I'd get you in and I always keep my word trust me Is someone I knew we hurt someone to shoot with you? Almost had it. I should have kept a better eye on that librarian. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Thank you. 
That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. Quietly now. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Little friend, 
out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Oh God. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Guys and gals, we're gonna drop the dis the uh, suspense from there. On the next part, we will pick up and continue into the Anthenaeum and see what happens next. So, thanks for joining me on this one. Um, as always, please like us, subscribe, come join our family, and we will pick up on Violetta's adventures in the next episode. Bye for now.